thinking about something here and, and let me go show you something over here some uh, material I have in the shop and we'll take a look and then we'll come back to the computer and talk about it so I have these two forgings left over from a job a long time ago and they're um they're 4340 steel, normalized. They're about 22 inches by 15 by 8 inches thick, or they'll clean up to that, I believe. And just to give an idea here, they're pretty, um, pretty hard. So I'm thinking about something here. Let's go back over here and let, let me uh, do a, a screenshot of the... Uh, on the computer. We'll look and see what what I think we can do with these forgings. What you're seeing here is a representation of the material I just showed you in, in the clip before this, which I think this material will square up to this size. It will be um, 22 inches long by 15 inches deep and 8 inches high and this block of material at this stage represents about 750 pounds I believe well let me let me actually um, put the properties on here of uh, I don't have 4340 but I got 4130 which the, the density of it's going to be more or less the same and so this says this is 748 pounds the computer does here and I was thinking, what could I do with those two pieces of material? And right now my uh, YouTube channel is at 40,600-ish subscribers at the moment of making this video. And uh, I would like to do something when I reach the, the subscriber count of 50,000. It would be kind of a milestone for my channel. And so I was thinking I could use these old forgings because this is... This material is, I don't know, almost 10 years old. It really can't be used for a job, and I don't do the jobs anymore. So it's just extra material, and I kind of hate for it to sit there and go to waste. Right now, it's kind of forming a step into my horizontal mills platform, as you may have saw there. So what I was thinking was I could prepare this like this, on the horizontal mill and put these four tooling holes in and on those I would bolt this fixture like that so I could hold this in the mazak on in the chuck on the mazak like if you imagine the chuck being over at this end and what I was thinking I could machine out of this are the are these anvils like this and according to the computer here if I just select that, that anvil would weigh 271 pounds there. So this would be a pretty nice little anvil. So let me hide the um, stock here and the fixture. Let's take a look at this anvil. Now the way I've designed this anvil is trying to not lose too much weight in that block of material. So the base is kind of a little taller than a normal anvil, but it would have an inch and a quarter hardy hole over here in this area this is a 7 8 hole and these are two half inch holes that run through there for various you know punching through things and tie down and this hardy hole would be kinda like this because this is what I can machine on the m machine it would be kinda of hard to put a hardy hole clear through this whole thing and, and make a square but I can make a short distance like that with a broaching tool and and this hole here is kind of like if you wanted to pin something to hold it down hard in the hardy hole. And, and of course this relief is if you punch something through it would fall through it like that. And then it have this little side horn as well on it. And I have an anvil already kind of like this configuration. It's just a little bit larger than this one. And I like this configuration. 
it works very nicely for forging. So this is my thought on doing this. Now as to choosing somebody to, you know, to be awarded this thing, I guess you might say, I'm not sure how to go about doing that. I don't know what the regulations on YouTube are about this kind of a thing yet. I haven't really checked on how to implement that. Perhaps maybe in the comments people could give me suggestions on how to do that and do it in a fair way. And I would kind of have to restrict this to the, I think the United States because th this thing in, in a, on a pallet in a crate, I guess you might say, would weigh probably 300-ish pounds and shipping that overseas might be awfully expensive. I'd have to check on that. And you saw the material, it's already pretty hard so I think it would make a pretty decent anvil. I might look into the cost of having the maybe the top surface here induction hardened or flame hardened. I don't know what that cost. I'd have to check that out to be sure but as it stands right now, you know, you kind of saw me hitting it with the hammer in the previous clip, and it actually is pretty darn hard and tough, this material, the way it is, and it would it'd be fine for an anvil just the way it is, I believe. So let me know what you think in the comments, and also, you know, give me some ideas on how we could implement a contest like this, perhaps, or a giveaway, I guess you might call it. I'm not sure because I haven't checked into the all of the legalities of doing this on YouTube. I might have to move it over to, to maybe Instagram or something like that. I don't know. I don't know how to do that yet, but I was just thinking of this. So let me know what you think.